What's up guys and welcome back to CoPlay. Today we're going to be continuing our Feed the Beast Direwolf series with Stubborn Bucket. I'm still here with Ren and Bosco uh, and um, um, Syndicate. That's it. And as you can see, I actually enabled shaders. I'm going to start trying to use these shaders with every series we do. So hopefully that looks good. Alright guys, so what do you want to do? I did my intro. Um, okay. <laughs> what are we going to work well, on this time? So, um, in our interim, I, uh, I built up a little bit more on our smeltery. Now, I haven't activated it. I just put extra spouts in here. You said you had a third faucet, right? I have one faucet. Yeah, so you can take the faucet and jam it right here on the edge of the drain. All right. I see, see this. Blue, blue. Like there that. There you go. And uh, you remember how I told you how to make these casting basins? Uh, <laughs> not really. Okay, hit the uh, the top furnace over here, All and right. grab out uh, some of those. Uh, gotcha. What we call it? Um, and it's upside down pants. That's what I thought. Casting basin. Yep. I'll go at it. And then drop that puppy. Right there underneath your faucet that you placed. All right. Okay. So there we go. You now have um, a basic smeltery setup with extended uh, crafting. Now here. These guys right here. This is the power to your system. Right there. The power of lava. lava. So over on the one side, you remember where we put that little tank on the corner while we were building? I don't know if uh, this, this was here last episode. That's a smeltery controller. That's where you're going to put all your resources. But this puppy over here, this is going to hold your melting. This is just going to be able to melt for The tank? You. Yeah, the tank here. Now, what we can do, um, let me switch these two around before we get too far ahead. All right. Um, and you can break down a multi-part structure whenever you want to. I mean... As long as it still retains a certain amount of inventory space, it'll still hold any liquid in there. But if you remove the smeltery controller, it'll break down the smeltery. So, switching that around, it gives us access to where our inventory is, closer to the smeltery controller. So, yeah, you go ahead and dump your uh, bucket of lava, and right-click on the tank there. Do I right-click with the bucket? Yeah, right-click with the bucket, and you'll get an empty bucket. And okay. As you can see, if you look at the lava tank, it'll give you an amount of lava in there. I see. And this guy now has power. So we can grab our... Let's grab uh, a couple bits of gold. Here you go. I'm going to throw you the gold. All right. Go over to the smelter controller. Right-click on that guy. Got you. And now you can individually place each of those bits of gold in those sections there. We have 18 slots to craft. Or you can just shift-click and they'll just get placed in there. Oh, I see. Okay, cool. So we fill it up. Now, come around here to the glass side that I have. Um, All right, uh, quick quick note to the viewers. Um, well, hold on. What, my control stuff. Oh, my mouse died. <laughs> well, that's not going to work. Um, I gotta get a new mouse. So you can go ahead and talk to him. I'll stand right here if, if you're gonna do something. But okay. I'll be right back. The um, the glass that we have right here uh, allows you to see what's going on inside uh, from a side view. I mean, even though we have ore in there, it's gonna show you know solid gold blocks until it breaks it down. But once it melts everything in the smeltery controller. It's going to turn into liquid in the bottom there, and we'll be able to pour that liquid out into the smeltery bits over here. Um, we can make actual blocks with the uh, seared um, cauldrons here, and we'll be able to make uh, like ingots and stuff in the table. So uh, this also will jet us into ore doubling faster than that little grindstone that we made earlier. This will double ores automatically just by melting them down. So this is going to be a fun engagement. You can see little gold bits have already started melting in there. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. My mouse <laughs> has a battery in it. So this guy right here, you see how all the gold we dumped in there is now that nice little yellow tapio oh, coating at the bottom? Yeah, some now don't diarrhea. fall into the smeltery. All right, is, I'll try this, my best. 
if you fall into the smell tree, you will start. You will get killed by whatever's in there. <laughs> you'll be dead. You're basically swimming in liquid metal, and it will kill you. Um, you'll be burned to death. All right. Um, so, um, quick quick note to the viewers. I know if you saw last episode, the glass you could actually see through, but since I enabled the shaders, it's messing with the glass, so you can't really see through it very well. So I'm gonna try to just show you from the top what's going on. Can you can you cut this down for me, Mr. Bosco, with the diamond pick, Mr. Thank Skyrim? Who's All right. So what were we saying? It looks like the thing filled up more. Oh, what happened to my? It's filled up to the top now. What, what's this um, supposed to do? So now, now we have um, liquid. Oh, you're swimming in it. Yep, what? you're dead. <laughs> Bye, Bosco. Creative. Is he me. He me. I I oh, can't do nope. it that fast. We're getting blood in the smeltery control now. There Did it go. work? <laughs> yeah, he's out. All right, now no here, blood. come over to the smeltery control, and I'll show you how to operate this thing. All right. Um. So you can see that we have the molten gold there, and we now have this nice thin layer of red. We have 20 millibuckets of blood. blood. <laughs> now, 1,000 millibuckets, because it's on the millibucket scale, 1,000 yeah. millibuckets is a bucket of blood. Blood is a key ingredient in a certain type of metal called pig iron. Um, pig iron. Yeah. Did somebody click the uh, the blood in there? I don't think I did. I think I did. The fuel? Uh, okay. Mr. Bosco messed everything up. Okay. No, no, no. Burning the blood out of there is a good thing. Um, so... He wanted I mean... it back. <laughs> I didn't even... It's not even in my inventory, though. I just clicked the, the fuel. Yeah. So I put more gold in there. Um, but nice. Do you see the molten gold that we have there? Yes, I do. Okay. So the molten gold can come out of here, if you come around to this side. Yes, sir. By pouring the molten gold into these separate... Bits. Whoa. So you have a full particle effect dumping gold into um, these little baskets, and these will create gold blocks that'll have to harden first, but then you'll have beautiful, placeable gold blocks. Nice. What was awesome. life like before toys like this? Um, <laughs> it was crappy and unmodded. Unmodded. Um, but... Don't come over here, guys. <laughs> There's a little bit of Star Wars going on. <laughs> nice. The um, we'll we'll put the extra lava buckets in here just so we have a full lava thing, and toss these buckets back in here. So how but, much does one bucket of lava do? Um, it does several pieces of melt. Um, but we'll we will get a situation once we hit the Nether that will keep this constantly filled. Believe me, uh -huh. I have a trick for that. Um, automation is the key, always. But do you see how we have uh, tons of incoming gold now? And the issue I had earlier is I needed a certain amount of gold to build something specific. I needed to build a quarry. So <laughs> This is beautiful. Yeah. Did I, and, did I hear that right? What was that? Yes, again? you did. You did. I did too. <laughs> okay. Good thing we don't have to get a crank and put it on the side of this thing and start cranking it to work it. <laughs> Make it go. Yeah. Zach, Zach, what was that word again? What did I say? You said Isha. Automation? You were trying to say issue, and you said Isha. Yeah. And I was like, what? <laughs> I'm not tired, I swear. <laughs> it's not 7 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> oh, no, you man. have to say 7 a.m. in the morning. 7 a.m. in the morning. Hey, As opposed hey. to 7 p.m. in the morning. No, there's people that say that all the time. Hey, it's, it, you mean 3 a.m. in the morning? No, I mean 3 a.m. in the afternoon. I said that to one guy, and he looked at me, and he, like, stared in the distance. I was um, like, he'll figure it out eventually. He's like, oh, 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 oh. Now, here's the other thing. Uh, do you have the materials in your book, the black book? Yes. Uh, on you, by any no. chance? I have a black book, but it's not the right one. <laughs> if you don't, I think... Oh, here it is. It's in the, it's in the box here. Uh, What's in the box? I'm trying. I have it, oh, I have it I right it. here for you. I got it. The black book? Oh. No one you said pay you said materials of you. Eric is doing. This is mighty smelting. Yeah, take a look in mighty smelting. There right. may not be a lag machine in process over here. So be. you should Looking. see in there at one point. There's a couple of buckets, different buckets that tell you how to make um, uh, alloys. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, I see, uh, what, like, blood, liquefied emeralds, glue, that, that stuff? And, and that, that makes, um, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, let me see, uh, at one, there is a whole bunch of different recipes how to make special metals, and it'll give you a list of alloys in there, I believe it's in that book. Okay. If not, we'll craft the next book up. Um, I, I see one thing that says bronze, aluminum, all that, uh, my pig iron, and I have a, one. <laughs> I have one that has a bunch of buckets in it with blood. Uh, yeah, this is so much fun. This is not the That's most efficient way to get this done, but this is the most fun way to get this done. I see alloys on the in the homepage thing. I'm guessing it's Bosco just this. I have to kick it. Sick. God damn. Bosco's gonna be. You just need to come over now. here and see what I'm using right now. Just. Might here in a second. Let's go Fuck check it. out the farm. Here. How, how's that sound? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's run over to the farm. All right. Go see what they're doing. Cause they've been over there. They haven't even been on the friggin' episode. They've just been working their asses off in these farms. So let's go check them out. It's just north of us. Look at the beautiful water, guys. <laughs> the ass is so numb. I'll and never get so over the shaders. Ah, oh, shit. That one broke, too. Also, there's a uh, mm, deep over water. here that I have to kill. There's a what over here? You're mine, sheep. You just, like, absorb the right. soul. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. You've been busy. Oh, God. Did it get dark? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, my gosh. So Are this you is... using a diamond hoe? Tell me you're using a diamond hoe. You a diamond hoe. Yeah. Are, yeah, yeah. You, are you playing with a laser? You got no. a wooden hoe. Okay, it's getting really dark. Someone's using a laser. What yeah, a jerk. Me. I could dude, I just couldn't resist, okay? I said I'm playing Star Wars over here. Oh my okay, gosh. Okay, so you have a large farm here. What's the plan to make oh, every I'm just terraforming because I just want you know Because you can. I just decided I wanted to use this laser to blow time up this day. mountain. It's a good plan. This ah, is, but it looks like it looks like we're gonna have the largest farm ever. Yeah, it's kind I of think. the point. Almost. Also, uh, I have the start the thumb craft. Pew pew pew. Look at that water. It's beautiful. Um, Nate. Yeah. Nate, look. Yes, sir. You're a wizard. I'm a wizard, Harry. Nate. Magic wand. For you. I'm trying to use it on you. Can't do anything work. with it yet. <laughs> Dang it. But do you see when you hold it in your inventory in your top left corner? Oh, yeah. That's cool. What's that do? Do you have a little pinwheel? Yeah, yeah. Top hey, left, guys. Right oh, sorry. They, they heard me. You just didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I have to change that to not uh, push to talk and just leave it on constantly. Yeah, I see the thing at the top left. Just change okay. it to the sensitivity one, but like, yeah, yeah, I'll change it. the sensitivity. When when we're running around the world and you kill monsters, you'll start seeing those little bars fill up with uh, essence. Those are the prime essences from uh, Thomcraft, and we'll get you a book soon enough. We have to make a bookcase first, though. So, thank but you. You can play around wizard. with that wand. Um, oh my ass! <laughs> so All you're gonna time. have this uh, farm up and running soon, hopefully. Mm. Uh, we'll look at it. Looks are like... you gonna have are you gonna have Thalmcraft golems or are you gonna use turtles? Um, I'm gonna use turtles. We might invite an annoying person in here. You've done a great a refresher for me. You've done a great job with making farmland. This is the problem this is impressive. I'm having right now is this little shovel that I wanted to play with doesn't work like I remember it. The only thing it can do right now is put down dirt, which is fine for you know. And Playing it's with your little shovel. Like, yeah, you know. No, like every time I generate an item, just because I wanted to see how it was working, it doesn't fucking work right. Like, because the to... mods have updated since the time you played, probably. Yeah, but it's supposed to put it down in threes or nines. Like you charge. Did you find the first bug. Probably. Um, no, a lot of the items that like I've generated, rather than if I build them, are acting funky, which I remember every so often that was an issue. Yeah. But maybe, I don't know. I could be crazy. I probably just need to look up the latest uh, version of that dude's Thomcraft video just to make sure. Did Bosco uh, die? I'm pretty sure they might have changed 4.3. I think Bosco passed out. Bosco died? 
Yeah, I think so. so. I think Boss. No, he's he's standing there. I see him standing there. I'm still here. He's still here. Oh, you see him. All right, cool. But I am going to dip right now. You're dead though. Oh, I'm so you, so you, so you're about to die. I just left. Oh. Right. I think Nick was like running up behind him with a fucking. Bye bye, Chris. I, really, I gotta get some sleep. But I'll Go see to sleep. sleep. All right, everyone, say goodbye and wave. Kisses. Fuck you. User disconnected from your channel. <laughs>